Hey guys, I love Animal Crossing and I have actually really enjoyed playing Pocket Camp. So today I wanted to show you guys how to make this drawstring bell backpack. I used all materials I already had and it was super easy, so let's get started. For our drawstring bell backpack, we're going to need two rectangles of yellow fabric. I am using cotton and this piece is going to be 12 by 14 inches. You'll cut two of them. You're also going to cut a little scrap that is 2 by 3 inches and you're going to cut two pieces of 12 by 14 inches of your lining fabric. Mine was white flannel. Also going to need a small scrap of a purple fabric. I just had this satin sitting around so that's what I used. It needs to be 5 by 5 inches at least. I printed off a picture of a star from the internet to use as a stencil when cutting my purple star out. And I also used a small scrap of interfacing that was two-sided fusible in order to adhere the star to the yellow. For the straps of the bag and the tie around the top of the money bag, I ended up using a red thin bias tape that I already had, but you could use any kind of red string that you have. And I needed two pieces that were 5 feet long and another piece that is 18 inches long. The 18 inch piece doesn't have to be exact because it's just going to be for decoration on the front of the bag. The first step is optional, but because I used this skinny bias tape, I ended up stitching along the edge of it just to secure both sides and make it more like a string. Before we cut our star shape out, we're going to want to iron our interfacing with the texture side down to the wrong side of the purple fabric so it's stiff. We want it to be stiff just so it's easier to cut the star out. You don't really have to do it this way, but it's a lot easier and it'll keep the little threads from splitting if you're using a satin or a silk fabric. So you're going to cover it with a piece of fabric and just hold the iron there for about 30 seconds to melt the adhesive. I did not remove the paper backing yet from my interfacing, so I went ahead and drew the star directly onto that with a sharpie, and now we can go ahead and cut it out. Now that we have our star, let's remove the paper backing, then center it on our bag with the right side facing up. We're going to cover this with a piece of fabric again, and then press on it with an iron again for 30 seconds. Our star is permanently adhered to the fabric now, but just as a finishing touch, we're going to use a purple thread and stitch around the edge. Pin the wrong side of one piece of white fabric to the wrong side of one piece of yellow fabric together so that you're looking at what you want to see on the outside. Then you're going to sew all around the edges. Do this again with the other two pieces of fabric, keeping it close to the edge of the fabric. Now we just want to fold over the top of both pieces of fabric by about an inch and hem them. Fold those two 3 by 2 inch strips we cut out of the yellow fabric into thirds like a bias tape and sew across them. Before we attach those strips we want to sew the bottom of the bag together. Just lay the pieces with the right sides together then sew the bottom side. It'll look like your bag is inside out at this point. With the right sides of the fabric still facing together, fold the two strips in half and pin them inside the bag toward the bottom, as close to the bottom as you can get them. This will be the outside of the bag when we turn it right side out. Sew up the sides of the bag and we are almost done. To poke the holes in the bag for the cinch top and straps, I am using a large upholstery needle, then enlarging the hole more with this little tool I don't know the name of. Um, it came with my sewing machine. If you had little yellow grommets, you could make these holes look much nicer, but I wanted it to look like a real bell pouch, so I didn't bother. You're going to pull one red strap 
through from one direction, then pull the other red strap through from the other direction, tying each strap in a knot after you pulled them all the way through. If this is confusing, just try and understand it from the video. As I was editing this video, I realized I totally forgot the step where we attach the middle strap that dangles down. So you will not see it in any of the clips after this one, but you're just going to tie it in a knot on the center loop. Our bag is all done except for that center strap I forgot to attach before filming this. But this works just like any other cinch backpack, except it looks so cool being a bell pouch. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty videos each <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Tickers, that's not what you were supposed to do. All right. Hot, hot, hot. The man is hot. Hot, hot, hot. And when we start to be rounded, so we gotta cut the points off. You know, so it's like not like a star. Man, I keep. Starting the video without my mic on. You just feel like you're really just uh, screwing everything up. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs>